What's up guys, Nathan here. Today I'm going to give you the top five signs of fishy poker players. Never do these things at the poker table. Let's jump right into it. All right guys, so these are the top five things that I consistently see recreational poker players making, amateurs, aka the fish. I'm not the most politically correct poker player out there. Yes, I still call them the fish. That's what they do. They make fishy plays. Let's dive into it. Counting down from five to one. Here we go. Number five is of course playing bad hands. Guys, fishy poker players love to play all sorts of garbage trashy hands like king nine offsuit or ace seven offsuit and good poker players on the other hand they know to just fold these hands because they know that they are long term negative ev aka negative expected value no good poker players only play the proven winning hands instead and if you don't know what hands to play i would simply suggest downloading a copy of my free poker cheat sheet out of the top link in the description below. I actually have charts in there showing you exactly which hands to play in all situations. Let's move on to sign number four of fishy poker players and that is chasing bad draws. Guys, we've all seen these players doing this a million times. They crank your aces on the river or your ace king with some ridiculous draw, some gut shot straight draws. They call you the hold away with bottom pair. Fishy players just love to do this kind of thing, guys. Here's an example hand. You call with a nine eight of heart and the flop comes down with the king of spades, 10 of diamonds, and six of clubs. Guys, this is a bad draw for many, many reasons, but the biggest reason why is because you only have four outs remaining in the deck. That would be the seven of hearts, seven of diamonds, seven of clubs, and seven of spades. For those of you guys counting at home, that's only four, and that's not a good spot to be in, guys. That is only going to give you around 10% equity if this player has a hand like king queen, for example, for top pair. So so in this situation, with a gut shot straight draw like this, when you have no backdoor draws, for example, if there was a heart on this flop, that would definitely change things because we'd have an additional backdoor draw to the flush draw. But in this situation, we have no backdoor outs. If we are up against any kind of competent player here, guys, it's best to just fold right now, cut your losses and move on. Do not chase terrible draws like this and expect to win. Let's move on to sign number three of fishy poker players and that is overvaluing top pair. Guys, this is another classic sign of our recreational friends at the poker table. They love to hit top pair and they hate to fold it even more. Let me give you an example once again. You raise with ace queen offsuit preflop and by the river the board is eight queen jack king four with no possible flushes on this board. So you make a bet in this situation and a good player raises you. What should you be doing? Well, as you see on the screen there, I've put up the red alarm for a reason because guys, there should be alarm bells going off in your mind in a situation like this. Good players do not raise the river without a very strong hand. I talk about this in my first book, Crushing the Micro Stakes. There are two sections in there. Turn raises are usually the nuts and river raises are always the nuts because at low stakes versus good poker players, they're typically never screwing around in a situation like this. A fishy player has got a call though because they've always got to see it but guys you as a savvy winning poker player watching this video you know better you're going to be able to make the discipline fold here with middle pair because you know that you could easily lose in this situation so let's count them all ace king king queen queen jack ace 10 10 9 jack 8 and i'm sure there's plenty of others that i'm missing obviously all the sets on this board pocket eights pocket queens pocket jacks pocket kings pocket four so on and so forth, guys. This is a situation where you're literally throwing money away by calling a raise on the river here. Guys, take it to the bank. They're never folding. So you got to be able to pitch your middle pair in a situation like this. Don't be like our fishy friends at the poker tables and convince yourself that you have to see it. You're better than that. Let's move on to sign number two of fishy poker players, and that is chasing losses at higher stakes. Guys, this is literally one of the biggest destroyers of dreams, bankrolls, and careers in this game is fishy players often flip out when they get a series of bad beats, coolers, and so on in a row, and they decide to move up in stakes to chase their losses, to, you know, play the captain comeback. And guys, this is a total disaster. You should never change stakes 
while playing in order to chase your losses. And the reason why is because this is an excellent way to lose a lot of money because when you move up to higher stakes games, not only are you playing against a cool, calm, and collected player who's literally just sitting there waiting for lower stakes tilted players like yourself to jump into their games, but they're probably a superior opponent because they're sitting in higher stakes games. Guys, there's a reason why we have a vast array of stakes and limits, whether it's cash games, tournaments, because typically the players playing in the higher stakes games, there's a reason they're sitting there. They often have a superior skill advantage over the players in lower stakes games. So when you choose randomly to just move up stakes to try to, you know, gain all your losses back faster by playing in a higher stakes games, this is literally one of the best ways possible to just light money on fire. This is a total dumpster fire, guys. Never, ever do this. If you're having a bad day at the poker tables, guys, the best thing you can possibly do is just quit for the day. You don't have to chase your losses in poker, guys. Poker is a long-term game. Don't get wrapped up in your results on individual days and don't keep digging your own grave when you're emotionally frustrated, you're on tilt, and certainly do not move up to go challenge a superior opponent when you're in this mental state. Let's move on to the final sign of fishy poker players. And this one is, of course, very, very common with all of them, and that is that they have zero focus. Fishy poker players, when they're at the poker table, it doesn't matter if it's at the casino or online, they're on their phone, they're checking their Instagram, they're checking their Facebook, they're checking their TikTok, they're watching the game maybe on the other TV, maybe they got another screen, they're watching the football game, the soccer game, the baseball game, on another screen somewhere, they're texting their friends about the party that's going on tonight, so on and so forth, guys. What they're doing basically is they're focusing on everything except the poker hand in front of them that they should be playing. They're also paying no attention to the other players at the table when they're not involved in the hand. Guys, these are all the common signs of fishy poker players. If you want to have real success in this game, you have to stay laser focused at all times at the poker tables. The only thing that I would suggest is some light music in your ears. If you feel that that helps you, I would suggest having your phone on airplane mode. Do not be texting. Do not be checking social media. Don't be watching some football game on the TV. Focus on the only thing that matters, which is playing your hand to the best of your ability. Guys, do not do the five things on this list. If any of them are currently a challenge for you, let me know the top signs that you've seen of fishy poker players in the comments below. And also like and subscribe if you found this one helpful. And lastly, guys, if you want to know my complete strategy for smashing the small and mid stakes games, once again, grab a copy of my free poker cheat sheet that with the top link in the description below. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I appreciate you. I hope this one helped. I will catch you next time.